just what what is it like to be back in the NCAA tournament to be going through it a second time? I think it means the world to us, especially for our senior class. They have contributed everything they have to this program. And they're the class that like really turned it around. So I'm happy they could go for their senior year and like and on a good note for them. Is it crazy to sort of look back what this program has been through and gone through the past few years and see where it is now? <laughs> we actually talked about this yesterday. My freshman year, we had only won five games in the SEC, and now it's kind of like a running joke just to see like how easy it was to flip the program around like with the help of good coaches and good players who all want to win. Dur during that sort of process, was it, was it kind of hard to keep a team together as a new coach kind of comes in, or were you all sort of like, we're ready for that stability and we're ready to kind of buy into something? I think we were ready for it. I, we never had any problems as a team before. We had loved each other since day one, even when we were losing a lot, which is good. And I think that's what really held us together through the transitions. So I think like the team love and the team like family aspect is what like pulled us through all that. Go ahead. What was your guys' experience of going through the last five matches of this season, where you guys kind of have to lock down that spot, and then going through sort of the weekend leading up to uh, to the announcement? Yeah, well, we knew that we had to win a certain number of games or else we were not going to be too happy on Selection Show Sunday. So I think that five-set win against Georgia really showed like how much heart this team has because we knew that was a must win and we ended up coming out on top in five at an away SEC team. As, as someone who's out, maybe not from exactly the West Coast, but from <laughs> certainly out West-ish, what is that sort of like to be able to get uh, back to the Pacific Time? Oh, I'm so happy. I travel. Everyone's complaining about the long flight. And I'm saying, welcome to my life, because when I fly back home to Arizona, it's like a four and a half hour, five hour flight. So I'm happy I can go back out there, because a lot of my family is able to come, and they usually don't get to make it out to the south for many home games. Do, do you have any ties to Seattle at all, friends? I do. My there? cousin lives in Seattle, actually. And the rest of my parents and everyone's going to fly out, too. Going back to last year, how much do you guys allow yourself to look back on how exciting that Colorado win and just how big that was for the program? It's very exciting. We like to look back and celebrate our success, but we know this year is different. Even like going into Selection Show Sunday, the feeling was a little different. So now I think we're just happy to be back and have a chance to play. And it's kind of ironic that it's like two Colorado teams, so we feel pretty good. <laughs> how do you describe the atmosphere of what it was like last year to the underclassmen who get to experience it for the first time this year? Oh, I think it's, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I know everyone's just genuinely excited, and I think we've put that into our culture now where we expect to be excited and expect to do good things, whereas they didn't experience not having that feeling. So I guess they just don't know any different. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about how you mentioned, you know, a couple years ago, only five SEC wins. Now you're at tournament and back-to-back -back years. Can you kind of just talk about what that kind of means for you and the rest of the uh, team? I think it means so much to us, especially our seniors. Like I said, all of the seniors contribute. All of them are very big parts of this program, and I'm so happy for them they can end their senior year going back-to-back -back tournament. A lot of times in tournaments, it's about getting hot at the right time. What do you think you guys need to do to you know, get hot and pull off a couple of upsets? I think we're already going pretty hot right now. We knew we had to win the last couple of SEC matches, and we found a way to do it. So hopefully we can keep that rolling into the first round. Uh, familiar face there at Winthrop. Are you excited to see an old friend? <laughs> yes, Courtney Furlong. We are so excited to see her. Even I'm happy she still stayed local because she still comes down and hangs out with us on the weekends and like is still very much part of this team and our family aspect. So it'll be nice to have her cheering for us there.